Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the unboxing of The Dead Mother, or La Madre Muerta, uh, a 1993 film by Juan Bajo Ulloa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I don't really know my Spanish very well, but um, I do know my films, and this is a great one. Um, people often ask me where I find films, and it's not always easy to answer because it's so easy to go down into a rabbit hole of reading or recommendations and this one is is not that case because this has a very clear place and it was it was actually recommended to me by um Guillermo del Toro um I was very lucky to be dealing with Guillermo a couple of times on various releases in the past and I sort of said to him well you know I'd love to do some Spanish films or, or something along those lines and he said oh you should check this out and I bought a copy and just kind of sat on it, never watched it. It just didn't particularly speak to me for one reason or another. And, you know, things getting in the way. And I didn't really get around to watching it until I set up Radiance. And I put it on, not really knowing what to expect. And uh, I was I was floored by it. Uh, I just absolutely loved it. I mean, it's it's like a dark fairy tale uh, with very, very dark humour, and, um, you know, it, it's, as his point is made in the booklet, it is a horror film, essentially, you know, it's about a serial killer, it's about a psychotic person, and if that's not horror, then, you know, I don't know what is, and um, you, you've got that jostling against this humour, which is, you, you know, something very fresh, I think you don't really see that very often, and although this is a sophomore feature, um, it's it's very very confident uh, confident it's it's precision throughout and the set pieces are are amazingly well done and um, it's uh, it's just an absolute great one I mean this is the DVD cover this is the, this is the artwork they went out with um, in Spain and in the U S as well and. It's a difficult one, isn't it? Because you, you, you've you got this tear and it's like, well, you know, is it a period film or isn't it a period film? Is it about this painting? Is it not? Who is the dead mother? So it's a bit of a challenge from that perspective, but um, hopefully we've, we've kind of done it justice and uh, people give it a chance. Like Car Cara Alejandro, who's from, people will know from Time Crimes, another great film, um, is brilliant in it. You know, he, he, he does a fantastic performance and it's what potentially an extra for the future, but starting to be a trend uh, with Radiance, uh, having a comedic actor play a serious role. We previously had that in um, in uh, Carl uh, Gustav in The Man on the Roof, um, you know, who previously a comedic actor who was, um, who was playing a serious role. And there's another one that hopefully we're going to release uh, in the near future. And then there's, I'm sure there's another one, but it escapes me. But um, anyway, we're talking about La Madre Muerta here. And um, it, it's it's great fun and um, his performance, yeah. And um, I hope people enjoy it. And digging into the film further, um, there's you know some really great extras here. Um, did kind of go back and forth on whether or not to include the commentary because commentaries, as we know, you know they are they are something that you know a select audience likes. Not everybody goes in for them, and this one being in a foreign language, it's sometimes may be a bit disorientating or, or not quite the, the perfect viewing circumstances to be watching a foreign language film with a foreign language track with foreign language subtitles that don't relate to it so it's sort of one challenge on top of another but it is a really great track and I think it's absolutely essential for this release because um, he does a fantastic job of really digging into all the behind the scenes stuff the way that they made things which which is I think particularly useful for this film because of some of the things that are depicted in it and also the way some of the scenes are done it's really interesting and then along the same lines there's a documentary uh, that was made in 2008 on the making of the film involving all the key people behind the scenes footage so that's really great as well and then um, his one of his first short films I'm not sure how many short films he's made because I don't think they're all you know, properly listed on IMDb and so on. But this one was restored in 4K and was a Goya award winner. And I think 
if you've seen um, Bachelor's first films, it's, you can definitely see the through line between this film, uh, Elena the Victor, Victor's Kingdom, and his later works. So through Butterfly Wings into um, this film as well. And it's really great to see his progression as an artist and his development. And the, all those things, like many great directors, that they were there from the start. And I think that's when you know you found somebody special. Um, and then on top of that, we've got a gallery, which we're really fortunate. I mean, um, Wanma has, has got some amazing things for this film. You know, So the photos that you see in the gallery um, are, are, are really interesting. So there's sort of like promotional images, which are really cool. But then there's like behind the scenes photos as well. And then there's even photos of like the marketing of the film and, and graffiti and stuff like that. So we, we put some things on that on the menu because it's really fascinating. And um, and then in the booklet as well, you know, managed to get a load in writing from the original press book and writing by um, both um, Wanma and his brother and an appreciation by Nacho Vigalondo and then new, and a fantastic new essay by uh, Javier Aldana Reyes. And, uh, and then to top it off, a soundtrack CD. So this CD was included with the Spanish DVD. So when we knew that that was there you know pointed towards it being available because that's not always the case it isn't just because you've got the film rights you can't say oh we'll just chuck in a cd the rights are often completely separate and held by usually you know a specialist company a music label or someone similar but in this case you know that the, as i say the signs were there so it was like we have to have this it's just one of those fantastic scores i think when you when you watch the film you come away and, and hear these themes and think yeah yeah i want to I want to have a CD of that, it's awesome. So that was great that we were able to include that, make it into a two disc set. As you can see, I've already got the OB in there. And that is a Madre Meta. I hope you give it a chance. I thought it was awesome.